Fearing that Professor Davidson and his associates will learn of his secret plans, Dr. Bremer has his men capture the expedition. The Phantom comes to the rescue and gives battle to the enemy, when suddenly... <laughs> Slip, all right. Don't shoot! Me, Golden! What's the idea of taking a shot, please? How do I know it was you? Well, we gotta get out of here. We'll head back to Saipan and tell Bremer the Phantom's dead. He's certainly gonna be madder than a hornet when he hears we didn't get those keys from Davidson. How could we get him when he didn't have them? Hold on, you got Wait! We can't leave the Phantom like this. What, my dear? He saved us and we have no right to run away. Come on, Byron, let's go back and help him. Get ourselves killed? All right, I'll go myself. Master! Master! I was afraid they might kill you. Remember the legend? The Phantom is the man who never dies. Again, we have to thank you for it. Right now, you must get to a place of safety. Oh, where do you suggest we go? Come to Tonga Village. From there, I can... Nonsense. It would be safer to return to Saipana. That's too far from here to make it without supplies or porters. He's right, Byron. Follow me. What are your plans now, Professor? Frankly, I don't know. I'm undecided whether it's worthwhile to go on without our map. What map? We have six pieces of ivory known as keys, which, when formed into a map, show the location of the lost city of Zolus. Yeah, that fellow Prescott hadn't stolen it, we wouldn't be in this quandary. Who is Prescott? He was the fourth member of our party. He stole the keys and disappear the night before we left Savannah. What makes you so sure that this Prescott was a thief? He and the Keys disappeared at the same time. Even so, I don't believe Jeffrey stole them. An honest man wouldn't have left so suddenly without saying a word. Are you certain he didn't leave you a message explaining why he went away? I inquired about that at the hotel and was told he positively hadn't. But I still think you were wrong to have Singapore Smith swear out a warrant for his arrest. Master, it is time to judge the three white men who attacked the expedition. Bring them before the seat of judgment, that they may have a fair and open trial. Why did you attack the expedition? Answer me. We were paid to do it. Who hired you? Guy from Saipana. His name is Andy Chris. Why did he want you to assault the professor's expedition? He didn't tell us and we didn't ask. Why don't you stop gabbing and throw the book at us? Very well, here's my judgment. You shall be set free presently to return to Saipana. But if you ever again enter this section of the jungle, your lives will be forfeited to the Tonga tribe. Guards, these prisoners will be taken to Saipana Trail and released. He's almost a king, with power of life and death. Master, was it wise to free those men? Yes, Suba. I'm certain they'll lead me to the man who's in back of all this. That's why I'm leaving for Saipano. Saipana? I must find the man who paid those hirelings to assault the people's in the expedition. Suba understands. Good. I won't be gone for long. Oh, uh, the guests. I'll leave them in your care. You needn't say where I've gone. And 
you say you're positive the Fatima's dead? No one could come out of that explosion alive. But you failed to get the keys from Davidson. I told you I searched every one in his expedition, and none of them had anything that even looked like them. I can't understand that. Long saw Singapore Smith give them to Davidson at the hotel. Maybe the old crook double-crossed the professor and stole them back later on. Well, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, come in, Count. Count Salento, meet Andy Chris. Hello. Hi. Chris is the man I sent out to convince Davidson that it would be unwise for his expedition to continue. Did the professor accept your advice? I think we stopped him from any further desire to go into the jungle. I have some good news also. The munitions arrive safely and can be picked up at the warehouse. That's fine. Chris, get your boys together and pick the stuff up at the warehouse tonight. Get them into the jungle right away and start arousing the natives. Right. Well, come in. Well, what are you doing inside, Phantom? Why in this disguise? There's someone here in town anxious to get rid of the Phantom and stir up the natives. That's why I came in this outfit. And the name is Walker. Mr. Walker, at your service. Now, who do you suspect? Well, maybe I'll be able to tell you about that later. Meanwhile, I want to leave Devil here with you. While I pay the thieving Smith a surprise visit. All right, I'll take care of the dog. Devil, you stay with Rusty. See you later. You bet. A lot of good luck. Come in. Not intruding, Mr. Smith. Who are you? What do you want? My name is Walker. I'd like to have a look in your safe. Certainly. I'm always glad to open my safe for strangers. Now, will you open the safe oh. and keep your trap shut? All right. There's the money. Lay it on the floor. Yeah. Take everything out and put it down beside the money. It's on the house. I'll take a rain check. I got to go in and talk to Singapore. Now, wait a minute. I'll go in with you. Insurance policies. Put them down. Hope Singapore is in good humor. Sure, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. He's had a grouch on all day. Well, there's everything I've got in the safe. Now, take what you want and get out. You haven't shown me what I came after yet. Take out that little box. Just what did you come after, mister? Take off those blinkers and maybe you can see what I've got in my hand. Oh! Where's my gun? I'll go after you. Better not. He's a tough baby. Anyway, Who is the guy and where'd he come for? I don't know. I, I never saw him before. Anyway, he didn't get anything. Back your cart in here, Marson. We'll get the stuff out. All right, boys. This is it. Everything marked canned goods. Fumigating room. 
Danger. All right, boys, let's get this stuff out. Hey, who uses this room? Rusty Fenton fumigates his furs in here. Nice looking skins. Come on, give me a hand. Yeah. How'd you come out? Eh, yeah, no luck. Better sit down and have some supper. Might as well. Say, uh, what do they keep in that old warehouse at the edge of the clearing, Rusty? Oh, most everything, I guess. I've got some furs there myself. Why? Oh, I saw some fellows carrying out boxes and loading them on an ox cart. At this time of night? Yeah. That's why it struck me as funny. Say, those furs of mine are valuable. I better get over there and see if they're all right. Okay, I'll go with you. No, Devil, you stay here. We'll be right back. Furs they're loading. Now, what are you trying to do? Kill me? Oh, shut up. Those guns ain't loaded. Oh, no, but if this crate was loaded with dynamite. Well, I wouldn't have dropped it. Come on, grab a hold. Let's get this load of rifles out of here. Rifles, eh? I've seen those men before. They're members of a group that's trying to destroy the peace of the jungle. They'll do it too if they ever get guns to those natives. It's up to me to see if they don't. From here on, I work as a phantom. Rusty, you slip around and cover the men of the cart. I'll get into the warehouse and cover the others. All right. Never get all this stuff in one cart. I'll say we won't. With a little luck, we can make three trips this week. Hold it. Get your hands up, up high. That way you are. Reach. Bring him in, Rusty. Come on. Come here, Rusty, and take their guns. townspeople. We'll get rid of them the quiet way. Where's the other guy? He's out cold. Now all you gotta do is turn that little valve. Take care of them. All right, boys, let's finish loading and get out of here. Who will be able to stop Dr. Bremer now? 
And what will become of the Davidson Safari? Don't fail to see The Ghost Who Walks, the next thrill-packed episode of The Phantom at this theater next week.